Hi, I'm Christian. And I'm Vera. From LR Time. And in this video, we want to put all terrain tires on our Land Rover Discovery 3, including wheel spacers. And we want to show you what it takes to make this street legal. In Germany. In Germany. And? Enter the video. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I want to have some ice cream, please, today. Before we're going to put on the new tires, we're going to have to put in new front discs and brake pads from Brembo because we got some brake wobble. And after that, we're going to go through the regulations we have to meet over here in Germany to make that basic setup street legal. I promise you, after that, you think you live in heaven. What tires did you get? I got the General Grabber 83, 255, 60, R18 in 112.8, but I don't know what that is. Not 112 feet? No, you told me it. So Vera bought the new tires now based on you guys' recommendation. These are street legal on the Discovery, um, pretty much without any additional um, modifications for the TÜV but because they're not gonna look as cool we also bought the um, track extenders 25 millimeter these are expensive because they are again street legal here in Germany they have a TÜV assessment for the Discovery 3 and it's registered under this number printed on here and with a couple of extra modifications on the vehicle these become street legal in combination with these tires. Even so, they have a TÜV assessment um, with the vehicle registered in it. Um, it is not sufficient to just have that and put these on. They actually need to have a inspection by the TÜV and they need to be added to the car's title. So let's put this stuff in. No, and oh, while and, yeah, we do that, we're going to also put in new disc brakes. And we got the Brembo ones, not the cheap Chinese ones. And, of course, new brake pads. We got right now warped discs, so yeah. they rattle a little bit, and we really want to get the right quality as good as possible with new tires all nicely balanced. It would be stupid to leave the old warped disc brakes inside. The Discovery is going to break our bank account. <laughs> Yeah, we can't we can't keep running winter tires in summer when we go large distances. They wear down in one summer. Yeah. It's not worth it. And they are not good on gravel. They break the threads. Oh, I think you did something wrong. All wobbly. So we'll take this one off absolutely first. You're not paying it's... attention. Oh my god. So I'm not sure if I'm happy with this because the first big screw we wanted to open. This toolkit didn't work versus the 25 year old craftsman toolkit in this shape worked. Yeah, it's because I'm so lightweighted, you know. <laughs> so we're going to have to take that pipe with us. So these are out. The bracket is off. Yeah. Oh boy. So. This is good enough. Yeah? Now we can put the new Brembo brake on. What is important is that they balanced here. Yeah, yeah wait. They, they, here's the balancing cut. Yeah. That is important. And of course, high quality brakes should have some sort of a rust protection when you take them out of the box. Now yeah. we'll put it on here. And we put this back on. They go on here. Yeah. That doesn't look right. Yeah. 
Are you sure? Yes, yeah, I think you need to get the book with the torque for the brake caliber bracket mounting bolt. It's never it was very high. It was called what you say it's called. Oh, the book is gone. Oh no, it's not here either. Where's our book? Caliber bracket mounting bolts in the front. 275. Land Rover calls it anchor blade. And this is why we're gonna have to take this stupid pipe with us. <laughs> 275 is quite high. What? It's not really a problem. Yeah. You have if to... I push now uh, the pistons back. It's got a overflow. overflow here. So we're gonna have to take some brake fluid out. Just a little bit, yeah. so it doesn't it doesn't overflow. Yeah. It's a lot. I will put it back in. Oh, okay. Okay, it's all the way back. See, nice. What? So. So let's see. So these go back on. Brembo. If you get an Italian product and the Italian product behaves weird, it doesn't mean it's broken in Italy. It shows character. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, they fit nice. This one here, yeah, fits nice. See here the copper paste? Yeah. Without stretching the cables. And the Italians gave us two new bolts. <laughs> Good, we got them all? Yeah. Oh, maybe I should take that out. <gasps> The cable. The wire. But. Anti seize. Oh. Yeah, okay. Oh, that was not. <gasps> that was not right. Make sure this is all good. This is the TÜV assessment for these extenders. Alright? Yeah. 14 uh -huh. pages. Yeah. yeah. And it lists. Our vehicle right here, in here, Discovery 3, 4, and these are the allowed extenders. And then over here, it has our extender ring width, 25 millimeter, in combination with our tire, 255-60R18. Mm -hmm. There is no 265 listed, and over here are the obligations we have to fulfill. So there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 obligations we have to fulfill. And if we go through them now, me being German, I had to do that. <laughs> Not approved with snow chains. Brakes must be serial condition. Allowed only with listed serial condition. 25 millimeter extenders are only okay up to 940 kg per wheel. We are definitely below that. And here's the best one, the fenders. These here, the wheel arches, need to be extended in the front by 15 millimeters and extended in the back by 5 millimeters. Without that extension, this wheel sticks out too far. And nobody has that. And nobody has that. Nobody. Only approved with the air suspension. So when you go to coils, it's a no-no. The serial condition wheel arches on axle 1 and 2 to be widened, opened, or extended in additionally. So you can widen them actually open, which doesn't really work on plastic. So the only way is to extend them. But K50 means you could find a method to widen them. Yeah, maybe with heat or something. The serial condition wheel arches on axle one and two must be ground on the inside. There is a sharp edge here and apparently 
They are worried about this sharp edge digging into the tire. I think that's pretty stupid, but that's one of the obligations we have to fulfill. Installation depth of the wheel nuts must be at least 7.5 revolutions. Okay? What? These wheel nuts here must go in at least 7.5 revolutions. Oh, well, did they do that? Uh, I want to say yes. D3, obligation D3 means you can mount 30 millimeter extenders in the back and 25 in the front, but not 25 in the front and 35 in the back. You can also mount 25 in the back and zero up front. So in other words, as long as your rear axle is wider than the front axle, D3 is fulfilled. And that's it. That's all we have to fulfill. That's Germany. Yeah. And that's we count the for having an autobahn where you can go <laughs> 200 miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> that's like the first wheel we did, no? Yeah. On so the second wheel we will count we the will revolutions. We will count the revolutions, yeah, yeah, so that we when the TÜV inspector is asking us we can say yes, we counted them. It's 9.3 quarters. Yeah. For, oh. The 9.5? The 7.5 The 7.5. You know, I'm going to What was it? It was 8.5. It was 7.5. I think it was 8.5. Oh, we have the... We have it okay. up there. Yeah, we're, we're going to inspect the 7.5. Yeah. And the one obligation was that your wheel has to have holes where the opposing nuts sit. And in a second, we're going to see how nice those tires look. Yes, it's a cheap Chinese, I know. The reason we have to extend this is because the tire is wider. I think that's logical to everyone, okay? Yeah, everybody knows that. Yeah. Yes, but the way it is specified in Germany is just amazing, okay? I gotta explain you this. You have to draw a straight line from the axle straight up. Mm -hmm. From that point on, over a pivot point at the axle, you gotta have the correct width of the wheel arch 30 degree forward and 50 degree backward. Within this area, the wheel arch need to protrude over the tire. But not only that, in Germany it's specified that the nominal width of your tire needs to be exceeded by 4%. Not 5, by 4%. <laughs> so you have to take your width, which is 255 times 1.04, take the distance between 255 and those 4% and that's how much further this edge needs to be over the tire when you put a straight edge down in the area of 50 degrees and 30 degrees and you bet when you go to the TÜV and you have that inspected they will look at this exactly like this and I'm really happy that you bought these tires and not the 265 because the 265s on these rims are also not TÜV approved. So even if you can mount them on these rims, these rims are only good for 255. I looked it up. Land Rover has only permission to use them up to 255. And tires is about the strictest thing. Oh yeah. Okay. There are other things where they have some flexibility. But when it comes to tires and these specification, they don't mess around. They don't mess around. So that's it. I think I did enough talking. Now we're going to do the other side. And what is it called? A channel lock wrench? This plier is called a channel lock. Yeah. Because the brand name is channel lock. Okay. Channel lock. Channel. They are not typical in Germany. Not? But I like them a lot. We have them in all sizes and yeah. use them a lot. The German brand is called Knipex. Oh. Some Americans call them Nipex, oh. but it's actually called Knipex. I've heard that name before. Yeah, and that's a very high quality German plier. Mm -hmm. And they have an, a channel lock, which is automatic, oh. Yeah, which we can't afford and nobody needs. But we've had that one for 30 years now and we're not going to change it. Oh, you're making a big mess. It just needs a little bit of a smack. Oh shit, oh good. Missing a lot of material, you know? Are they actually more worn out than I thought? Did you open this box already? No, I'm holding the camera. Brembo is the Italian brand. And who made it popular in the US? 
I don't know. Fiat? Fiat, of course. These are much better quality than, than what we usually put on if nobody is watching. <laughs> So I got some loop on here already. Yeah. This is how I would expect it to sit. We turn it counterclockwise until it snaps. There. Now we give it a zero mark and we go one, two, eleven, eleven and a half. So this is for sure good enough. Done? Yes. So in case we missed it, here are the Yes, the holes. here are the openings. Yeah. They are important for the TÜV inspector. So now you're going to see it for the first time sitting on its new wheelbase. <gasps> and how does that look? That looks really cool. Doesn't. Careful. You can exactly see that this tire is now about here starting to stick out. Oh, it's far mm -hmm. in. Yeah, it's way further in, yeah. right? Yeah. Philip, do a stunt. Excellent. <laughs> and what I find interesting, if you put this back in, yeah. it goes active right away. Isn't it supposed to go up then? No. Is that like a it stupid question? It's a stupid question. <laughs> okay. Your hands out. <gasps> yeah. So how do they drive? I don't feel a difference. Really smooth. I like them. We got them now on for about a week and a half, two weeks, Yeah. I would say. And there is a difference to the winter tires we had before. And the difference is that the steering wheel doesn't feel so spongy. It oh. feels more firm, I think, because the thread is just not having so many fine cuts. Under wet conditions, they do definitely not feel much worse than the winter tires so I'm really quite happy they are noisier at higher speeds but they're not noisier at lower speeds so when we drive around here with 60 kilometers an hour there's absolutely no difference in the noise level yeah. even it's even so that this hum from the tire you hear sounds more rugged on these they actually sound better on lower speeds but the noise level is the same they're not louder so that's the male diagnostics compared to what did you say? I don't feel anything. <laughs> Any difference? <laughs> you don't. I don't feel any difference. That was your diagnostics. You got mine now. Sorry guys, we had to get Italian ice cream. First time this year. Wouldn't pass by there. Only time I wish I would have an automatic. <laughs> so I have tested the car. I think we have to go here. I haven't tested the car on the Autobahn yet. So that's still to come. Um, the tires are rated for 210. So I can go the 180, the car does. 
and the winner tires were really good before on the autobahn i hope these are equivalent but i don't know yet on our regular country roads they are awesome mm -hmm. um, feels really good oh left left i think so never been here never been here before either And that's really it for this week's video. Yeah. I hope there was something new for you. If you haven't subscribed, think about subscribing. There is a video every Sunday evening. And in any case, don't unsubscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next Sunday.